Mark, it's still incredibly early here in camp, but overall, how have you been feeling? Been feeling great. It's just good to get acclimated around the guys. Um, it's the start of a new season, new vibes. Just to kind of see everyone uh, showing up, ready to roll. It's exciting, so feeling great. Did this spring feel any different to you, putting on pinstripes? Yeah. Um, I think it I think it would feel any but different for anybody kind of putting on pinstripes pitching in New York. Definitely the added pressure, the added lights. It's something that I kind of um, inspire and, and want to be around. I feel like it brings the best out of you as a competitor, so I'm excited to kind of take it all in. You mentioned the bright lights. Why do you think that'll bring the best out of you? I feel like it always has in the past. I'm, I'm someone who's able to kind of lock it in when the moment's the greatest, and I feel like having that, uh, that pressure on you to win every day just makes you go out there and be your best. Through a live session today on field one, three innings. Was there something in particular you were working on out there? For me, it's all about mechanics and feeling fluid um, in spring training and the lead up to season. I'm just trying to get very dialed in, very in sync with my mechanics. Uh, there's two things I'm working on, kind of too crazy to talk about on here, but yeah. We, we have time, we have time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy when it comes to body and feeling my body and every little thing in my delivery. So it's just making, getting to the point where I can repeat my mechanics consistently 100 pitches a game. That's, that's the goal. Is it basically all feel for you, or are you a guy that's going back and watching video as well as a combination of the both? It's a combination of both. Mostly feel. I know I know when I'm right, mm -hmm. but also being able to look at video and see certain pitches when I'm off definitely gives you good feedback. Now, I noticed you were wearing full uniform today out there. That's not always the case. Is that important for you to put the full, the full uniform on? Yeah, to be honest with you, I didn't know what jersey we were wearing when we were getting dressed, and I, I put the pinstripe on, and I walked into the weight room, and Rodon was in there, and he's like, oh, are we going split squad today? And I was like, yeah, let's let's rock. So he ended up putting the navy on. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely coming over, you want to put that pinstripe on, that, that first jersey to kind of to get acclimated. You mentioned Rodon. You also have the reigning Cy Young Award winner, Garrett Cole, in the rotation. Overall, what do you think of this rotation? I think we're deep. I mean, I don't want to speak too much, but I'm – I, I love our five, especially having Clark in that five. His stuff is incredible. So Nestor's amazing as well. Like you said, Rodon and Cole, who's the best pitcher in baseball. Just being around Cole, you just want to be better. And hearing his feedback, he's dialed in watching kind of our lives, our bullpens, and he knows analytics, mechanics. He knows everything so well. So the feedback that he has, I'm just looking to download any information I can because I'm able to kind of usually take information like that and put it right in my game. How valuable a source is that to have a guy like that on your team? Yeah, you can't even put it into words, you know. And like I said, to, to have someone who's open too, he's the best pitcher in baseball, but he's also open to helping everybody around learn. And like I said, he knows analytics, he knows pitching, he knows mechanics. So when he speaks, you listen. And, yeah, I'm just excited to learn from him and kind of hopefully take that into my starts. Today was the first day that the full squad was there, the whole team there in that clubhouse. Let's look at the offense for a second. I imagine that you're you're pretty happy you're pitching on this side, given some of the bats in that lineup. What do you think that offense is capable of this year? Yeah, I mean, Judge has hammered me in my past. Uh, he's, he's, he's hit me really well, and then Soto as well. So to have those two guys in my lineup, uh, I think it gives the pitchers even more confidence. You know, the, the lineup that we have is very deep, one through nine. So... It's going to be very hard to navigate as an opposing pitcher. But like I said, having those guys in your team, it only makes it uh, – gives you more confidence every time you go out to the mound and get back into the dugout to get those guys swinging. Marcus, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck this season. Thank you.